Hello everybody, welcome to Beast Battles game number 9 against Necros, TV Advantage, very nice. Um, crazy guy, he's 4-1-1. He's got block wolves, a block fleshy, a strength ghoul, and a block ghoul. Mm -hmm. 13 men's, so out bashing him isn't going to be very feasible or good anyway. <laughs> And then um, Claw Mighty, Strength, Edge. It looks really lame, doesn't it, compared to his, actually? Um, that is qualified for the World Cup, Lil Baz. One more win in the DBC qualifier, pretty much. I mean, because chances are one of them will draw, right? So pretty much a win in either of my last games will qualify me for the World Cup, which is pretty good. If I had known about there being, if I'd realised that the OCC had like qualifiers and stuff, like, uh, you know, playoffs, I should have looked more into the, uh, what I did was I just looked at the numbers in um, of entrance and then number of tickets. Whereas what I should have done was I should have realised that, team, you know, leagues like the OCC, they have a playoff and uh, there was a, an American one, um, Iron Phoenix. I would have entered those two, I think, just because, um, just because you know the playoffs one was so much easier for, for to win if you if you think you're good, basically, because um, mm, I'm gonna kick. How different to protect the saw on on offense. Um, yeah, because basically, if you think you're good, right? <laughs> if you think you're good, which I obviously think I'm good, right? That's not being conceited, really, is it? I do think I'm good. I think I do think I'm way better than average. So therefore, if you think you're good, um, entering. The uh, the ones with like multiple qualifiers is obviously good, uh, mo like you know the, the qualifiers with playoffs is obviously good, because what's going to happen is um, <laughs> what's going to happen is um, receive receive receive. Um, Yeah, because the, this this is the thing, right? I think in any group, in any qualifying group, I'd finish in the top two or three or whatever it is, or four. Or however however they're doing the qualifiers. So, like, this is what I realised in the UK BBL one um, at the last World Cup. You know, I thought I was pretty much guaranteed to get into the air. Uh, oh, maybe to put the these guys here so it makes it a bit harder, eh? Um, so yeah, because, now obviously it didn't work out in the AD English one, I, I lost two, drew two, so you know, it doesn't work every time, but it's a lot easier to finish in the top two of a group, and then, um, yeah, all the good guys. I mean, that's for a reason, because if he goes for the claw guy, he's got to deal with the strength guy. If he goes for the strength guy, he's got to deal with the claw guy. Um, so that that is the reason why I do have the good guys on one side. Um, yeah. So it's much easier to finish. If, if you think you're good, and if you think the odds are in your favour, it's a lot easier to finish in the top two of a group and then win three games in a playoff. Because then, you know, because you're pretty much guaranteed to finish in the top two in the group. So all you've got to do is win, win the three in the playoff. Whereas, uh, which is what the UK BBL was in the first World Cup. Um, whereas in Swiss, you've pretty much got to win six. Or like win five, draw one. And it's just a lot harder, isn't it? Because you can lose to anybody, you know. And, and anybody can lose to anyone in Blood Bowl. So while the odds may be in your favour a little bit... Um, you know, it's it's really really easy to lose a game, <laughs> and you've got a bit more leeway if you're in a group. So uh, yeah, I, I should have looked at the formats rather than just the numbers. Ooh, ah, oh, it's just a zombie. Right. Oh, interesting. 
Yeah, maybe I should have received, but he's got thirteen. He's got fourteen players, so I'm not really going to win by attrition, am I? I mean, maybe I could have received and then I got a draw. Yeah, like receiving she's as much chance of drawing, I think, because like it's hard for him to get chainsaw hits in and protect the ball. That's the thing. That's why. I, that's why I kicked. Only because he had a chainsaw. If he didn't have a chainsaw, I would have. Uh, I would have probably received, to be honest, and just you know be happy with the draw. Anyway, um, hello, Pro Augustus. <laughs> um, yeah, he's killer's guy in defense and win, yeah. I mean, he does have claws, but I don't know. You know, this is the anti frenzy. The anti frenzy setup, isn't it? So. And whatever happens, I've got my edge guy for offense, so that's good. Oh god, this fucking mouse! I really should have. Uh... Oh, I've got I've got Senai's cordless mouse to I'll rob the batteries from. <laughs> wow, GFIs to hit with fleshy, giving up guaranteed hit on the wolf. Madman. Oh, and then protecting and fouling or something. Interesting. It's good that semi has got loads of mice for me to steal. <laughs> From her mouse, she's got a mouse as well. Um, I've I've just stolen a mouse. I've just she's got a cord. She's got a mouse with a cord on. Um, a cable wire, whatever wired mouse. I guess they call them, don't they? Um, so I just I just robbed I just robbed her mouse. Um, hey, feel the GFI, Lona, go on, go on, lad. Oh, he didn't get killed. Damn, that would have been great to have just lost his, lost his guy on the first turn, wouldn't it? Would have been pretty funny. Um. Trying to put this fucking mouse in here. I should take my turn first, shouldn't I? Aha, it's on. It's on. We've got a we've got a winner. Winner winner, chicken dinner. Alright, let's let's try to uh try to play a game. GFI to hit his dude. One, two, three, four, five, GFI. I just hit him with mighty blow. Um I guess do this block first, eh? To see where he puts him. He could go two and base up here. Um, after the hit. Do I go block mighty blow or do I GFI to hit without block? GFI and to hit without block seems stupid, doesn't it? This way I can get additional blocks as well. So this seems the best way. I don't mind basing up a bit here, TBH. Could put him in there, him in there. I mean, he's, he's strength five, he could just go slam in the, straight in the middle there. <laughs> Dominate his uh, his guy. Do I kind of go all men's in here? The fact that I've got to put him in it tempts me to put everyone in. Fuck it. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I just want to keep the strength four on the wolf donor to actually um, control him. Oh. 
Hector, face, face, face. This won't fail. I'm on the rig. Burp, burp, burp. Try and sort out my mice, my mouse problem now. <laughs> hey. We've got the silent mouse back. Glorious. Does the one die so it gets the power? That is the bad thing about Guardman at the moment, isn't it? Not having black. Oh, it wasn't the Guardman, it was the Claw Mate. Oh, well, still, he gets the one die, so. Dirty dingo. Yeah, when well, they're knocked down for any reason, yeah. yeah. So, I, 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 we used to play when I were a lad. We used to play that if you uh, got fouled, it added plus three, but we were completely wrong, obviously. <laughs> he's got a one dice with a zombie here, hasn't he? Otherwise, he's in a he's in a bad spot. Yeah, lucky bastard. How many was that? Two or three one dices this time? Got pals on all of them. Fuckhead. Without block as well. Otherwise, he'd have been round, wouldn't he? I mean, this guy can come around anyway. One, two. Three, four, five, six, double G of five, but still. Fucking hell. No, oh, fuck it, I can't reply that now. Right. Um, he wants to block him. Talent. Would have got a mighty blow follow up. One, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI to hit. So he can double GFI to hit without anything. Don't think that's a great move. He can 2D him, then he can come one, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI to hit him without anything. He can go there to stop the dodge out. I really don't like the idea of a uh, of GFIing to hit the ball. Not a double GFI. It's too much, isn't it? He could blitz, but then I shouldn't have stood him up. Then he could have gone in there. He could saw him, and then he could uh, he would be free to move, which I don't really want. So putting a guy here is is the best defense against him doing anything. And then he would one dice blitz into a uh, frenzy trap. So then that would really really control him. So he could come down and do that. You could just go out. I guess I got a blitz.
really bad that I could have uh, I could have done that followed and then got the chlorine as well. Really, really poor that I I'd made safe moves first. <laughs> Pretty out position now with that blitz there. Maybe I should have uh, just not blitzed and got the mighty blow over here. But still, the wrestle's back. Yeah, I'm thinking a lot with chaos because I don't want to lose now that I've started so well. This fucking guard guy's getting abused, isn't he? Okay. Base, base, base. This won't fail, I'm on the right. Burr, burr, burr. Wolf Blitz, I guess. Bastard. Bit of a potato, he's not in scoring range though, so you can get men back next turn. Wow, you don't need to roll a pound every block, mate. No way. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Good, get out of town, shitty fucking dickhead. <laughs> right. Right, let's block him first. Let's see what he wants to do. I don't really want to dodge, do I? I mean, I could just GFI instead. I'd quite like to blitz this guy, so he just definitely can't score. Could double GFI to do it, but then I ain't got the wrestle safety. One, two, three, four, five, six. He could double GFI to do it. And I could move him around. To uh, get a better shot. I need a pal here, though, don't I, to get through? Glorious. Right, double GFI, at least I'll get the push on him. And then he can go to here. Which he's done already. So then he could double GFI so that there's a bit of a frenzy trap there. Right, I don't hate this play. I'll do both GFIs, fuck it. <laughs> that's the thing, I knew I'd use a reroll, like that's why I didn't do the double GFI to hit last time. Oh, used reroll and got knocked over, brilliant. Fucking brilliant. That's why. That's why I don't do double GFIs. <laughs> Glorious, thank you very much, Senai. Oh man, this fucking autocorrect isn't good with fucking German words, I tell you. I did do safe moves first. I absolutely did do safe moves first, moves first overlordy. This guy was going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and GFI here. 
so that a fr a fr he would be frenzy trapped kind of thing. I'm not actually outbashed. In fact, his his chainsaw has used two rerolls and knocked himself out, and he hasn't actually n removed any of my players yet. He's done the one reroll as well, which is pretty outstanding. Hmm. <laughs> he needs an AV break here, otherwise his ball carrier is getting two diced. What are the odds? Garen fucking T. <laughs> Fuck off. I mean, okay, I should probably be able to get two dice still, but wow, man. Is there any need? Is there any need for that? Is there any need for that? Fucking instant. Instant AV break. Yeah, it was sad that I couldn't stop him doing a three plus dodge out, but I can keep a wall, uh, keep a warrior on him, and he's out of the picture a little bit, isn't he? Yes, it is auto correct. Yes, yes, it is. Right, so if I pow him there and don't follow, then he can go there, and I can GFI to hit the ball. Yeah. Or I could block him. And then if it's a pal, the guard can't go in because he's there. But if he could block him and then follow and then I could go in eat without a GFI. So this guy can go here. Howdy, howdy. Oh wow, he lets me get a guard in, that was nice of him. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do now. I guess I want to keep him contained on the strength 5 actually, so I won't get the guard in. GFI to hit with Wrestle or GFI to hit with Claw Mighty Blow. <laughs> Wrestle's like the super safe choice, isn't it? Or I could just hit with nothing and not have to GFI and then use the reroll, more likely to be able to use the reroll on the hit. Um, what's the point of hitting with? Alternatively, the strength cancelling this guy is better because he is strength four, isn't he? So yeah, let's let's do this for sure. And he's not going to blitz or recover because he's a fucking mighty bow bastard. Glorious. Glorious, Mully D. Thanks for staying fantastic. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so this way, there's also a chance of one, two, three, four, five, six, not much a chance of a recovery, actually. Um, could base him. GFI is horrible. GFI is really fucking horrible. Yeah, sometimes per draw jack, yeah. I really don't want to make a GFI. But it's 75% knockdown set of 55, isn't it? I wouldn't re-roll the hit, so let's just go for it. But I'll have to re-roll the GFI. <laughs> oh, I'll never learn, do I? I never fucking learn. I just never learn. Why did I do that? 
and just never fucking learn. Should've just hit it with him, fuck's sake. I mean, it was a 1 in 6 to re-roll or a 1 in 9 to re-roll. Um, I guess the 1 in 9 would have led to... Maybe it's even, maybe it's even better odds to sack by hitting with the uh, rookie. I don't know. It's fucking done now. 3 plus to start the turn, no problem. Yeah, it, it does make me feel a little bit better, but not that much better because he's got the ball and I'm on one reroll. And he's most importantly, he's hit the wrestle guy. I mean, to be fair, having the wrestle guy marking him means the both down is much better for me, isn't it? If he'd, if he'd rolled a one in nine, he wouldn't have been able to pick up the ball with him, which would have been fun. Um... We need him to fail something soon. Like, he's only got one reel, but I've only got one reel. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't reach. I can't fucking reach. <laughs> oh, shit. One, two, three, four, four. I can't make GFIs. I can't reach to surf the fucking wolf. What a bastard. He didn't even stand up, he's, uh, he's fucking flashy. Wouldn't mind basing him with the uh, strength 5, would I? Oh, I can't believe I can't surf him. Up, up, base, base, base. Five, and then it's basing him with a strength four guy, which is pretty good, isn't it? Okay, oh, not bad. Come on, Kaz, please. Oh, baby. Huge armor break. Huge. Huge removal as well, isn't it? Oh, baby. That was really shows things up. Now he's looking at a 1D, 1D, and then dodge out. That's actually pretty too easy for him, I think. That's probably too easy escape for him. Maybe it's this trapping the dog wasn't worth it. Maybe I should have got the strength in here. Wine in your wills receive. Thanks. <laughs> Wine is a bit strong, isn't it? Come on, fail a dodge. Probably could have done, but it'd probably make fucking GFIs that I wouldn't fucking make. <laughs> Basically. It would require GFIs that I would fail. There you are. 
Oh, dodge, 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 dodge. Ooh, you bastard. One in nine disaster for him. Like, that's the thing. <laughs> he just hasn't failed anything apart from those loner rolls. That's the disappointing thing. Although he used those rerolls pretty instantly, since then he's taken infinite risks and has just passed every single one. Now he needs to break AV again. Doesn't get it. Okay, good. Didn't really need to break AV, did he? <laughs> Man, he's just that fucking zombie dodges. The only thing he fucking failed were the loner rolls. Oh, get out of town, you prick. Jesus fucking Christ. Wow, we've, I, yeah, I fucked up though. T making roll a three plus wasn't, wasn't good enough, was it? It's my fault. My fault. I couldn't have expected him to fail a roll. I should have showed it up with a strength. Expecting your opponent to roll anything other than like pals and dodge successes. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI to get the assist. GFI to get in there. And then dodge, GFI to hit. That's outrageous dice. Just fucking outrageous, really, isn't it? I mean, is it could chain my guy out. Mm. Oh, I can't go there now because I've, I've done the safe moves. I was doing safe moves first, now I can't even get two dice on the ball. <sighs> Great. Might as well just tip the fucking dog and then concede on turn seven. Blitz him and get three guys back ain't gonna be enough. Fuck's sake. Dodge for a 1D on the ball. Dodge and a GFI for a 1D on the ball. Really fucked it up. It's gone horribly. He's gonna score on turn seven, and I'm, I'm gonna. Well, I've got a two turn with 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 a fucking crappy chaos team. I could chin the ball back a square there. That's all right, isn't it? Making him roll dice isn't gonna cut it. He's just gonna fucking score. Does this GFI do anything? Not really. If I blitz him and push him back a square and go here and he goes there, he just simply blitzes and scores. There's, there's it's just, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing else for it but a one dice blitz on the ball. Little screen doesn't do anything. Yeah, of course I fail. Of course he makes fucking zombie dodges and everything. Fuck off! It is the end of the world. It's absolute fucking bullshit. It's absolute fucking bullshit. That he can play this bad and just never fail a single roll, and every crucial roll I fail. It's absolute fucking bollocks. It's absolute fucking shit, fucking is what it shit, is. Ed. Fucking cunt. Cunt. Fucking cunt. 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 Should have been this guy nine times out of ten. If I'd just put the fucking warrior there, he couldn't have broken through. Of course he wasn't going to fucking fail a dice roll, was he? Idiot. Double warning GFIs to hit the ball.
Yeah, I guess I've got to try and score early and turn him over here. I guess I, there was no choices there. With fucking shitty skillless chaos. Has to somehow try to fucking turn over it. You know, no cars. Well, okay, one kind of. I guess his wolf has to stay out. Multiple kickoffs and the white. Base him to force a dodge. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, mate, another one dice, get another power, yeah, into a frenzy trap, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, well done. Well done. Yeah, both GFIs are, yeah, pass them both, yep, yeah, sure you do. Sure you do, buddy. Don't fail anything, eh? Let's make a deal, you don't fail anything and I'll fail everything. So you have more fun. Even that stops me chaining him forward, potentially. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? Fucking annoying. I, but yeah, I should have played better at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I made one mistake. Lose because of it, or draw because of it. Seems good, doesn't it? Yep. First one. First GFI fail. What a, what a surprise, eh? What a surprise. What a fucking surprise after like about five fucking one dice blocks and dodges and everything. Wow. Wow, this is infuriating. Of course he makes two. How could he ever fail a roll? It's not possible. It's not possible for him to fail a fucking dice roll. Holy shit. Oh, man! Yeah, draw isn't the end of the world. It's frustrating, though. It's fucking frustrating, isn't it? This is crazy dice. Crazy fucking dice. <laughs> oh, it answers. No. No, it's not going well. I didn't do the same thing to other people, Dr. Mama Bosco. What I did was I beat people up by out blocking them and having Clara Mighty Blow. Mostly. You know? It's not tilting Lumino France. I played perfectly, apart from one mistake. One mistake. And of course, of course, after said mistake, I was brutally punished. How could it end up any other way? I want to go for a win because he's so bad, even though it's hard to fucking get a blodge and a strength 4 dodger down. He's just so fucking shit. Then I've got to beat him, haven't I? It's, it's, a, it's a harsh thing to say, but he's played very, very poorly, and he's just rolled incredible dice. He, he did the right thing. To be fair, he did the right thing to score. He did the one dice without block to score. That was the right play. It's not his fault that he passed every fucking roll, is it? But he ain't played well. I've, I've, I've completely outplayed him. 
and only made one mistake in the entire in the entire game, but it, it's probably cost me the probably cost me the win, hasn't it? Incredible, really. He used, he used his two fir his first two re rolls and then just didn't fail anything. Another three dice there, that's why I did the pass first. So. How to not do anything to a team. Pro tips. Yeah, I did Luminar France. Fr I assume it's France, I assume it's French. Yeah, I did totally outplay him, mate. I don't know if you've seen Blood Bowl, but you can completely outplay somebody and they can just pass every single dice roll and roll six pluses and I mean he didn't have to roll a six plus, but he can roll every dice roll. You know, they could you could totally outplay somebody and they could just roll only sixes and they could still beat you, couldn't they? You could you could have a three thousand T V Wood Elf team against a all snotling team that take no inducements and you could and you could play better than him and he could still win because he could just roll some sixes that's literally that's literally the facts every dice roll he made could be a six and he, he could kill your entire team and win and you could still play better than him you could still completely outplay him and still lose i mean that's that's the problem with blood ball isn't it really for people who are good at it But, um, yeah, I did completely outplay him. Made one mistake. Pretty pretty annoying to make one mistake and then get punished for it. But, I mean, fair play when we did punish it. He did have to make risky rolls and he, he, he succeeded them. But I'm probably not even going to be able to go for the win here. Fuck's sake. Save Tony! Stop being shit! Mm. <sighs> yeah, everyone everyone on my team is fucking hellbell. Oh no, I really can't get the win. What a fucking frustrating game to draw. That's best best case scenario to draw now as well. It can still the dice can get even worse. <laughs>
done with it matters or not. Is this way you can't get blitzed by it fucking fleshy? <sighs> yeah, I do I do need to be prepared to suck up the draw, yeah. Don't be a wet blanket. Kick his ass, sea bass. Don't robot, be a robot, blanket. robot, robot, dirty dinosaurs with motherfucking flamethrowers. Something, <laughs> something for China. Glorious, thanks, Jam Toast. Thanks for staying fantastic. Oh, yeah. This guy gets his wolf surf turn one. I'm not out, I'm not out playing him though, according to some French cunt. Of course not. <sighs> Shouldn't have moved him there first, I guess. Silly me. Now I've got to think of it. got to push him and he's still got a dodge so I think I think here is all right place to stand I can even put him there of course I couldn't get a fucking push couldn't get the gym power when I needed it could I Yeah, don't actually tilt now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the draw is fine. Sorry, it's just I don't like people coming in a match up being a knob. And I mean, it's okay, I banned him, but it's just fucking that's annoying, isn't it? Hans Meyer, yeah. Hans Meyer is awesome. Hans Meyer is completely awesome, actually. I'm not even. I'm not even memeing on the. Uh, on the DBBC website forum, he's always doing the, uh, he's always doing the, uh, like, talk about the weekly matchup and everything, and Mesut Eisel and all this, and it's awesome. Um, yeah, draw is fine. Yeah. Settle for a draw, which you call Isn't that the good guy from Die Hard? <laughs> good guy is John McClane. Um, it is Hans, but it's uh, it's not Hans Meyer, is it? Surf the Golem. Now, uh, would if I could. Alright, safe moves first are done. Good. He's got stand firm, so I can't surf him anyway. Yeah. Don't mind him going on him, actually. He can go in there, yep. He can go that.
Cage corner and stand firm guy is a great idea, isn't it? But then it wasn't easy. Pretty good now that I got two guys out there anyway. Three guys out. Three, six, nine, two guys out. Maybe I should have fouled first half. Definitely should have fouled turn 16, shouldn't I actually? <laughs> I'm like a gold orc thrower. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Frenzy trap. Oh. <laughs> Nine out of ten the pass, the old throw. Let's hope so. We should be so lucky, Frank Furter. <laughs> okay, that's good, isn't it? That's good. Right, it should be safe now. You still got the two fucking ghouls that are bad asses. But That's very good. Chalf minor. Golden chalf minor. God, I went there just on the off chance of the pal. So that if I got it, I would have the two dice without needing another assist. Pretty lucky. Oh, huge. Oh, man. But with the riot, I just couldn't even go for the win, could I? Go there, cause I really need to be able to power that guy, don't I? And there. Uh, <laughs> yes, of course, it's wrong. It's it's literally Frankfurt or against the rules of the competition as well. You mean another one, Wolfpack? <laughs> the thing is, I mean, I couldn't have—I couldn't have just run forward like that, could I? That's the thing. I couldn't have run forward, you know, and get run down by a strength four ghoul or werewolves or whatever. So I just couldn't get forward. Like it's even now with this with this huge player advantage. It's not that easy to get forward safely. Okay, it's pretty easy to get forward safely, but not that easy. With some bad dice here, it could all go fucking horribly wrong. Or if I misclick pals, mis misclick skulls even. I think I need a pal here. Ah, maybe not. Maybe a push is okay. No, I think. Yeah, no, a push is okay here. I just want to go with block, don't I? Just make sure it doesn't fail. Oh. Okay, I've got the rest. Stick on him on him. Just 
they came on him. And do a GFI. Wow. Yeah, that's true, which go yeah, that's true, that's true. Pretty much one win away. I mean it, it's not nailed on with one win, but it's pretty certain with one win. Because there would have to be like eight games that that there isn't a draw for or something for one win to not be good enough. So Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not meaningless. No, and and there's money as well, isn't there? There's prize money, and you know, it's good to win. <laughs> but yeah, it's it, there's obviously there's a lot of pressure off if the World Cup spot is already secured. Absolutely. You can reach. Three dice and seems all right. One, two, three, GFI, GFI. Four, GFI, GFI. Warrior foul is pretty amazing. Yeah, I'm up with the running by him far on that wolf bar. I always go block guard on warriors. Because I think that's good enough. Could go mighty blow claw piling on on one to get a claw on warrior. <laughs> Fired too soon. String of that lost again. If only I played better. String of Bell beat me fair and square. I think I got unlucky in the other three games in the AD English. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't lucky to match String a Bell in the first game, really. You know, I'm a nine, don't get any star player points. Pretty horrible game. And that's the bad part about fouling, isn't it? They foul you back. Yeah, Claw Bomb's pretty good, Pedro. <laughs> four, five, six. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's a guy here. So I can three dice both of them. While well, I'm losing. Feel bad about this, wouldn't I, if I failed? Or misclicked? Maybe the chance to misclick means I shouldn't even make these blocks. Three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Take all that three minutes and know they're just gonna face. <laughs> up to face, face, face. Every fucking time. Really sad not to be able to go for the win. Yeah. 
Oh man, imagine if I'd received. <laughs> and he'd, he'd had five chaos down. But then you'd have had the you would have had the chainsaw and things would have gone differently. Ah, fuck. Really save this one. With actually eleven players on. Really frustrating to draw that, but I guess I should have played safer and put the warrior on in the front. I read like getting behind play teams like that, especially the movement five guy. It was really risky, wasn't it? I shouldn't have done. Shouldn't have done it. My mistake. Yeah, it's interesting in front of us. It'll be, it'll be, <laughs> it'll be interesting to see how that works if people qualify um, through multiple routes to see who they block and everything. And it's going to be really with a champ's ladder as well, because with champ's ladder. I don't know how they're going to determine who was 5th or 6th, um, you know, 7th or 8th. I don't know how how that is done. Um, because quite a few people are going to qualify, you know, through Champs Ladder, through other places, I would think. Um, so... <laughs> Sorry, Pedro. <laughs> Oh, brutal. Yeah, I wouldn't have entered. I wouldn't have entered uh, AD English if I could. If I could, um, if I could take it all back, I wouldn't have entered the AD English. I'd have entered the OCC one, um, or the Iron Phoenix, one of those two, where there was like a group stage then playoffs. Way better than. And without progression, I want no progression. I want res, and I want groups then playoffs. I just think they're easier if you think you could. Yeah. Yeah, I am relatively positive. Uh, it was really frustrating, but it, it was my mistake at the end of the day. I shouldn't have given him that. The chance that he had to potato. Shouldn't have done it. <laughs> Might be worth deleting this team. <laughs> okay, now, Pedro. <laughs> you really want the teams deleted, don't you? <laughs> yeah, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Yeah, it's obviously easy with the benefit of hindsight, isn't it? But, um, yeah, I knew when I was kind of making a mistake when I, I thought I'm weakening here, but then he had the handoff and potato with a wolf anyway, which would have been decent. Or some, he, would have had, he would have been able to potato the way he did anyway, just... It was just horrible he was so lucky, wasn't it, in the first half. Um, but obviously second half, I just hammered him. <laughs> Even block, seven KOs to one. But I mean, I did have Mighty Blow and Claw, um, but still. Yeah, I, I got lucky in the second half. It was just frustrating. And, you know, overall, if he'd used the rerolls on, on the things that, he was, that were important... Him passing everything wouldn't have been so frustrating, but it was the fact <laughs> it was the fact that he'd used his rerolls on fucking loners, and he only had one reroll and he just didn't need it. That was a uh, tough. Oh man, movement would be great for the ball carrier, um, but I'm not going to take movement here. I'm just one line beast now, so this is just going to be block, block, and stick him in the meat grinder. And 
got the upgrades I think yep right pitch invasion so the only thing to do is buy another guy and then sack him no oh, no it's easier to buy the apple isn't it and then two cheerleaders get rid of them thanks to the bank rule which would be horrible if the inducements work properly but seeing as they don't it's all right <laughs> right thanks for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic